All right. Hi, James. Hi, William. How are you doing? Good. Good. These are comfortable chairs, aren't yeah. they? They're really, really good. So I like lace shoes. Yeah, <laughs> also the shoes. We're showing off. Yeah. That's good. Excellent. Let's dive straight in. Yeah. So the story of Neo. Can, can you just tell where it all began? How did you grow so fast into, into what you are today? Yeah. And uh, yeah, Neo, it means a new day. Yeah. And uh, our Chinese name, Wei Lai. It means blue sky coming. Oh, really? So I founded this company uh, four years ago. And uh, at that time, the pollution is, is very, very uh, heavy in China, yeah. uh, air pollution. So I decided to found this company. Yeah, yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. So you were founded in 2014, right? Yeah. And then you did an IPO this year. Yeah. Maybe we are the fattest uh, uh, auto company uh, from um, startup to IPO to exactly. a public company, maybe. Yes. I think so. <laughs> yes. I really think so. Yes. And so, at which stage are you are you with the company right now? How many cars are you producing? How many cars are you selling? Uh, we already produced the more than uh, ten thousand uh, cars. Uh, we delivered yeah. our first uh, ES8 at the end of uh, June, and uh, now in five months we mm -hmm. already delivered more than. 80,000 yes, 80, 80. Yeah, our first uh, seven seats uh, SUV. All right. Yes, oh, wow. it's a big and car. Actually, in that stage. That way? Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Hope you, everyone can There's one that you can have a look see. at. Yes. That's excellent. What, what types of cars are you making? The, you mentioned an SUV, yeah. but what are the other models just to get the basics out of the way? Uh, we are uh, in the year 2016, uh, 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 hmm. we uh, launched our first uh, supercar, EP9. Yeah. Yes. Uh, it's the fastest electric car in, in the world. And fastest uh, electric yeah, car in the world. And the fastest uh, autonomous driving car in the world. All right. And uh, very, very fast. And uh, last year, we, uh, we uh, launched our first uh, 7 seats SUV. The size is um, as big as uh, Q7. Okay. And Q7. Uh, yeah, it's, yeah. A, it's a big SUV for family, maybe uh, with two boys, three kids. Yeah. And uh, we will launch our second SUV uh, actually uh, next uh, week. Next week? Yes. Oh, really? <laughs> next right. week. Maybe we should have had a launch. Yeah, so yeah. three SUV. You know, in China, I think SUV is uh, quite uh, popular yeah. uh, because uh, the traffic is very, very uh, heavy, mm. and uh, the users, drivers, they want to use, they want a um, uh, very um, big space. Mm. So uh, that's the part of user experience. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. User experience is something that we'll also dive deeper into in, mm -hmm. a, in a bit, um, but still briefly on the, on the basics of the business. So you're, you're operating in China yeah. at the moment. Are yeah. you in other markets as well? Uh, we are a global startup. Yeah. We founded this company in a different way. Mm. At first, uh, we, our headquarters is in Shanghai, but we founded a team in Munich, in yeah. London, and uh, in the Silicon Valley. So we have uh, more than 1,000 people out of China. So global uh, development, but mm. uh, folks, uh, the market folks in China first. Yeah. Um, but in the future, uh, definitely we will enter the uh, global market. Good. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So you mentioned user experience, mm -hmm. and you're building the company very much around user experience mm -hmm. in 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 a very with a very comprehensive approach. So. Just to, to kick it off, what is a good user experience to you? How, yeah. would you? how would you describe it? The user experience is not only about the um, function experience, mm. like the car's uh, acceleration uh, speed, mm. the, um, the power, uh, and uh, about the uh, emotion experience. So I think um, it's... Uh, if you want to redefine an industry, or redefine product, mm. you must redefine the use experience of this industry. Just like a smartphone, yeah, yeah, hardware, software, and the service. Right, combining uh, all. Yeah, combine. Yeah. That's a, that's will be new uh, products, 
And uh, in auto industry, I think in the future, the user experience of a car, of a car, of a car brand mm -hmm. should be include uh, four parts. Mm. One is the hardware, mm. the car, and the service, and the uh, digital touch point, and the beyond the car. Mm. The, the life the car will uh, bring to you. Right. So these four parts will um, combine to uh, be the future mm. authors in the, uh, author industries use experience. So let's dive into two parts there, or two parts of user experience. Mm -hmm. One of them is the software yeah. layer, and the other part is the community, community that you yes. want to build. Yeah. Uh, let's start with the software. Mm -hmm. How do you, pr you approach building new software, new features, mm -hmm. new parts of user experience mm -hmm. to the users of, mm -hmm. of Neo? How do you approach it? Uh, I think that there is a three levels of uh, innovation. Uh, innovation. Mm -hmm. One, the first, uh, the first level is uh, the product. Mm -hmm. And uh, the first level is uh, user experience. Mm -hmm. The third level and the top level is the way you 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 are uh, build the company. Mm. So uh, I talked uh, about the user experience we uh, we we want to uh, create, and uh, on a on the uh, top level, we want to be near uh, community connected by the car. Mm. How to think about that? Uh, every day, every day. There, there is more than 100, uh, 170,000 users will use our app. 170,000. Yeah, even mm. we just uh, deliver more than 8,000 cars. Right. But <laughs> yeah, the, the, the APP huh. users, the DAU is 20 times. Mm. So, um, and uh, last year or near day, there is uh, uh, more than uh, uh, 100 million users watch our New Day event. Really? And uh, we will, uh, we will uh, begin our uh, second New Day yeah, next week. Hmm. So, and uh, there is lots of uh, uh, event and, uh, in our community, New York community, hmm. like your uh, great uh, Sledge event, and uh, lots of things. So um, yeah, we, we are very proud of uh, to create a community. Our concept is uh, grow together and be better together. So mm. share the uh, joyful lifestyle. So that's our, that's I, our I concept. Have to, I have to ask you. So you have 20 times more users on the yeah. app than yeah. you have owning Neo vehicles at the yes. moment. What do the rest of the people do with the app? Uh, lots of things. They uh, talk about the smart EV mm. uh, industry. They talk about uh, what they what what's their uh, daily uh, what's their daily life mm. and what's the beautiful things they want to share and lots of things interesting. And mm. I spend almost one hour per day to discuss with them. yeah communication with them. Interesting. Yes. So you mentioned also the EV industry. Yeah. So how, how is it in China? What does the electric vehicle market look like? China market? Yes, China. Uh, China market, smart EV of uh, um, China, China market is very, very, uh, imp imp uh, increase very, very fast. And uh, uh, last year, uh, there, there were um, almost 70,000 EV sold out in China. 70,000. Yeah, and uh, this year, the first nine months mm. reached the number uh, of, uh, uh, of last year. Oh. So increased very fast because, uh, you know, um, yeah, the smart EV, the Chinese consumer will consider smart EV very advanced technology. Yeah. It's very cool. Mm -hmm. And uh, not only about the uh, environment friendly and mm. uh, all and but also more important part is uh, uh, it's, uh, uh, it's a it's it's very cool thing yeah, yeah, it's a, yeah it means high tech it means uh, autonomous driving it means uh, ai it means uh, 
software defined uh, uh, vehicle. Mm. So um, I think it's a uh, it's very cool. It's a mm. uh, it's a very good time to start a new uh, smart EV company in China. Yes. Are people using your vehicles with the autonomous mode in China mm -hmm. at today? Yeah. Out in the traffic, people are using the autonomous mode just regularly. In uh, now? Yes, right now. Uh, right now, we our ESH uh, we we uh, provide ADAS not uh, autonomous driving mm. uh, now, but we provide uh, level two ADAS function to our mm. users. Mm. So in traffic mode or in the highway, yeah. uh, you can uh, sometimes you can free your hands, yeah. uh, and uh, it's a uh, because uh, the traffic is very, very uh, heavy in China. So uh, if uh, the traffic mode or highway mode, you can uh, depend on our ADAS, uh, our ADAS function yeah. to free your, maybe free, <laughs> some, sometimes you get, get some free, <laughs> yes. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So going back to the electric vehicle industry, mm -hmm. there's a lot of infrastructure needed yeah. to run an run a fleet of electric vehicles or to have mass market adoption. Yeah. So charging stations yeah. is one. Yeah. How many charging stations are there in China for electric vehicles? Public charging station, there, at the end of the last year, there, there is uh, uh, almost uh, 170,000 uh, char char yeah, public charging station. But uh, you know, it's, um, it's not so hard to install home charge home chargers in, uh, mm. home, in your home in yeah. China. And uh, uh, our ES8 users, uh, there are almost uh, more, more than 70% of our ES8 users, mm. they can install home chargers. Okay. So that's, that's number is beyond my expectation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, 70%. Uh, yeah, and uh, we have lots of, uh, uh, lots of uh, innovative uh, solutions. And we, we try our best to install uh, home charge for our users. And uh, we also provide one click to power. One click, one to, click power. to use your app, yeah. and you just ask, ask uh, so please charge my, my vehicle, yeah. my uh, ES8. And then we send our people to take your car. Oh, OK. And, yeah, and then charge for you. And, and then, then back they bring to, it back. Yeah, okay. the, yeah, the, the park slot. So, and uh, that's like um, a food delivery service. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> And yeah. we also provide uh, Power Mobile. It's a, it's a charging truck. Mm. And, uh, oh, so it's yeah, driving also, around and charging? Yeah, uh, if, huh. you, if, you find, if we find your, uh, your yes have no, have no energy, and we will send a, a, a truck, a mobile truck, uh, uh, power mobile to you, right. and we also provide uh, uh, power sw uh, swap. Mm. It's a swap station. Mm. You can swap your whole battery pack in three minutes. Three minutes. In three minutes, and uh, in uh, last month, last month we install, uh, we we, uh, we 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 finish the uh, installation from Beijing to Shenzhen. Mm the whole freeway, the whole highway. Mm. So uh, there are more than uh, about, so about 18 swap stations. Oh, wow. And then if you drive from Beijing to Shenzhen, you can depend on a swap station. Right. It's as fast as uh, the traditional car. <laughs> so three minutes and then go, and then go, go forward. So we, we, we must have uh, some this kind of uh, uh, innovation way yeah. to, uh, to, uh, to, to uh, give our uh, users a better experience. Yes. So talking about batteries mm -hmm. and swapping batteries, yeah. what's, what do you see going on in the battery industry? What's the state of the art? The battery technology? Yes. Yeah. Uh, I think the battery technology, lots of uh, startups are um, uh, focusing on developing a new uh, technology for battery. But I think even today's technology, mm. battery technology, they can do much better than uh, today. If, it's not only about the battery. 
mm. but also uh, this part I will need Eve's help. Okay, mm. yeah, yes. Eve will help me. So, I think the most important thing is not only the technology. The technology will develop. I think the most important thing is that we need to give the user a good experience of charging. Like today, our phone, our smartphone, and compared to ten years ago, we haven't improved in the technology. But we don't have this anxiety about the charging of the phone. 说我的手机会没电，为什么？因为你有充电宝，你很方便就能充电，所以你不会牺牲这个电手机，要把它增加的很厚，变得很难看，然后去为了电池的续航时间长一些。所以我觉得今天其实大家都有一点焦虑，觉得好像必须电池技术突飞猛进，续航增加的非常的多，才可能电动车才能普及来讲。其实我觉得不是这样的，就像我们现在。所有的这些一键家电的服务、换电站、移动充电车这样的服务，我们就能够给你提供非常好的一个体验，就会让你忘掉。OK， 电池的技术，我们还可以等它，但是我们不需要，我们不需要依赖电池的技术就能做到智能电动汽车的普及。所以 ，All right, please. Actually, I think the important thing is not about the battery technology development. The more important thing is the better charging experience. Just like the smartphones nowadays, people do not have anxieties about the smartphone batteries. Yeah. But if you compare the battery technologies 10 years ago, actually there's a no much advancement in the battery technology arena. But we do not have this anxiety. So we do not need to worry about the battery of the smartphones because we have the power bank to charge our smartphones. And we do not want to make our smartphones thick and ugly by adding more battery cells. For the battery technologies and the driving range, a lot of people think that these are the most important factors for the mass production or the mass adoption of the EVs. But it's not true because if we have a very good power services with our power mobile and power swap stations, mm. our home charging facilities, then we can provide very good user experience to the users then users do not need to worry about the battery technologies, and we do not need to depend on the battery technologies. Mm. Yeah, what I want to say is uh, forget the battery, uh, forget drive range. Just try. Mm. You will love smart EV mm. more oh, yeah. more than your traditional car. Yes. So you're saying Compassive. that it should not be seen as a barrier yeah. for uh, electric vehicle adoption. Do you still see the ba current battery technology as, uh, or let's say, using the current uh, battery technology but having swap stations as an intermediate step uh, until we have actually more advanced battery technology? Is there significant advances that you have seen in the battery technology? Yeah, I think the, um, the barrier is not about technology. The ba mm. barrier, can you say that? Just this. A barrier is the mindset of the people, of the users. Mm. So that's why I, just, I, I won't say just try. Think about um, if you can install home chargers, the chargers in your home, mm. and 99% uh, of usage mm. of, the, um, of the charging usage is better than uh, the oil, uh, the fuel, Gas station. Yeah. You, you don't need to go to gas station. Yeah. That's, that's amazing. Yeah? That's true. Yeah. <laughs> who, yeah. who loves the gas station? Hmm. Who wants to go to gas station? Think about that. So 99% of the daily usage, the, hmm. ex, the user experience will, will be better. But sometimes if you drive uh, far away, maybe uh, uh, f f 400 kilometers, Yep. Maybe 500 kilometers. You can depend on the new uh, solution, mm. such as swap station, yep. uh, such as our, our power mobile solution. So we can think, we, we, we should think about uh, the uh, mobile internet thinking. That we can use mobile internet technology to uh, build a uh, uh, totally new uh, uh, infrastructure system. Every car, every uh, 
every uh, mobile uh, mobile phone, mm. every uh, infrastructure swap station, power swap, uh, maybe even uh, charge station, uh, and the service people are connected by a cloud service. Mm. Think about that. The efficiency will be very very high, and the user experience will be much much better. So think different, mm. not follow the gas station, not just uh, follow the uh, uh, the the um, the words uh, spoken by the traditional auto yeah, industry. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, exactly. Uh, you know, as we just got started, our time is up. Yeah, this was it. It's better to live a hunger for more, I guess. So thank you very much, William, for Thank joining you, us Andrews. today. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks. Thank you.